Hey, what's up guys? So we're kind of just storing our stuff away here, Sorcery Kings. Um, so this is just a quick intro to the video. We kind of didn't really plan on videotaping our battle report, but about halfway through round two, we're like, eh, why not? Kind of just because we're practicing and um, Kenneth's army wasn't really painted. But anyway, we decided to videotape it. So this is our really crappy intro to our battle report. Uh, we didn't go over our armies. We just jumped right into it. I'll put a a link to the army list in the description below. And also, side bit, this is how I store my armies. Very crappy, I don't have anything fancy. I just put everything in these 10, actually uh, $5.99 Sterilite um, plastic bins from Target, Target if you're fancy. And I just put some, uh, you know, uh, foam, bubble wrap, whatever, to pad the models and I just kind of layer them in there. So yeah, anyway, we're going to get to our battle report about now. All right, so we're gonna kind of just backtrack here, but uh, for turn one, I had first activation. I just double moved with my Vanguard movement. So I did six times three, 18 plus one, 19 inches. And I just moved up here with my ghouls. Went to the board. All right, for Kenneth, for his round one, he just double moved his, what do you call these guys? Hold Ballista, right? Yeah, Ballista. Hold Ballista, he, he painted them in a ghostly white because they're gonna be apparitions soon after I kill them. So that is turn one. His last uh, activation for turn one, just the character doing temper plate on them, uh, just cancels out uh, armor piercing or cleave, right? Yep. And that's it for turn one. All right, so round two, my first activation, I just moved up my uh, Windborn Dijin. So they double move 12 inches. Um, this water is just minus one to clash, and this is just like a charging broken ground, broken ground roll. So. No, I, actually I don't mind being in here actually, now that I think about it, because I'm not going to be doing charging. So we're just going to try to shoot those whole ballistic eventually. For uh, start of round two for Kenneth, he just was boring and activated his character first to do temper plate again on his whole ballista, or just hiding behind these trees like cowards. Alright, so round two, my second activation, I just activated the Raj troops. They double moved, kind of blocked by the windboard division, but it's fine, because I just want to get within range. Uh, to give some casting to my goals. All right, these uh, fake Spartan initiates, uh, they just double moved up into the river to get uh, to get floated away into the nothingness. My next activation, I just inched these ghouls forward a little bit to get all three barely on the objective. So when I give them the power to take a point, they will score for me. Boop. All right, Ken's next activation was boring and cheating. He just activated his character who did nothing. All right, my next activation, I did my sorcerer. She gave these guys with a successful roll, pretty easy, lets them score on the point, because usually light cannot, but they can with the sorcerer spell. And the ritual we did was incite rage. We got one. No other bonuses right now because reasons. All right, so Kenneth's next activation, he just shot into my goals over here. They're kind of obscured. Uh, by the trees for two of the left stands. So we only took two damage, which we will put here. That's it. All right, Kenneth's last activation are the Fire Forge. I came on the board and the uh, character Tempered Sorcerer just did nothing, just hanging out, being bored. Right, we had one last guy sneak in the party. Got the Hellbringer Drake coming in from the rear flank. Getting ready to shoot with, it's 10 shots, but only has volley two. So he's putting us up. Donkey balls. Okay, round three. Not game changing, but I think this will make a big deal on who goes first. So we're gonna roll. Yeah, come on here, Kenneth. They wanna see, they wanna see. Yeah, three. God damn you, Kenneth. Who was that, two? Yeah. You can't see who they're cheating. All guys. right, Kenneth got first on round three. We're gonna cry because he aimed and shots and killed two stands. This guy has three, uh, two damage on him, or one damage on him. So yeah, they're almost, they have three life left. I count down and go into my turn. What do you think I'm gonna choose first? All right, so my activation, the Windborn Genies here, uh, they moved up all the way that they could and they shot for 20 inches into here and they took only four damage, sad face, because of the buff of the tempered plates. Next activation, we got the fake Spartan boys moving across the river to get on the points. And I have nothing on this side, so 
is control of this objective. All right, over here, my guys just unbroke themselves, shimmied two and a half inches to the left so we can still toe in on the objective there. Kenneth activated his character and of course did nothing. Why do you do nothing? <laughs> All right, by activation, I did my Warlord. I'm playing it safe here, playing it KG. This one's going out to Ben, saying playing it KG. Don't be aggressive. Uh, Warlord's here, the Maharaja, and just in range to cast spells on whatever needs to be casted. Hint, hint. All right, got some basic bitches on the left flank here. They just are whatever hold warriors. No one cares about them. They're pretty much the Dragon Age Veil Guard, uh, but to the Dragon Age Origins. If you know you right, Kenneth, just where are these guys? Hold Thanes. Hold Thanes are different from Hold Warriors? <laughs> They're different from Hold Warriors. Yeah, they gotta get more thing. original. Come on, know, Parabellum, right? get more original. They're hugging this guy's big booty because it's 2024, it's cool. All right, I don't know what to do for my last troop, so I just moved up, hugging the butt of my genies because their fragrance is nice. No, there is sizes, because infantry is size one. Hey, um, what are you even talking about? Calvary size two. <laughs> All right, so Kenneth's last pitiful attempt of success is this ironclad big daddy coming in from the left side flank. Ready to make me cry. All right, over here, we activated the Maharaja, which is actually here. So we just did the ritual for conflagration. When he does a ritual, he adds two, and then my supremacy ability lets me add another one to an already existing one. Um, and then my act actual activation, I just did what a random gave him aura death or whatever, just to trigger the healing. So I healed two, which let me heal one to full, and then one comes back with one life left on the goals. Actually, this stand did not come back because I told Kenneth so many times that I need to heal half of a, <laughs> of a, of a, tray, of a tray to come back to life. So uh, I need to heal two total to bring another stand back, so. Can't stop shooting. All right. Yes. So Naked Drake's bundling down the center of the field here, coming for my objective, or so he thinks. My activation did the Raj, just did the draw event to throw the scimitar here at this Durgan, armor piercing two, three automatic hits, and no, no point doing any spell casting because this round's almost over. All right, over here, Kenneth just double moved to Fireforge, so the flame caster, what is that, tempered sorcerer? And flame me. On. Okay, my activation, I did the Sorcerer. We did, uh, we just added one ritual, which lets me add one to the other ongoing ritual. And then I let, I did the, the spell to let me score with my lights. So they are scoring because a successful spell targeted them. They healed two. And now, Kenneth cries. All right, the Tempered Sorcerer went, uh, was able to do two spell casts. So two offensive spells, which killed my stand that came back, brought me down to one life on the last gold trays, where it broken again. Those two successful spell casting, right? Yeah. Whatever, cheater. Are you playing Lumineth Realm Lords over there? Right. End of round three, I score one for my goals. Kenneth has one here, which is lame, so I think he tricked me, so these guys move. Round four, I get the plus one, minus one. Let's go, game changing roll. Oh! oh what happened? Let's go! I got first uh, turn, so my uh, Windborn Dijin. I was thinking about shooting these guys, but they're just so beefy. I decided to just go for these uh, Hold Ballista. We did uh, damage enough to kill one wounded stand, and this stand on the right is at one life left. So, that's all right, that. first misplay of the game. Was it smart to not, <laughs> instead of activating that my first activation, should I have done my Bakasura and charge this instead? Because he just dumped 15 shots into me and I took seven damage. So I don't know. All right, so I charged here with impact hits, uh, inspired on charge, and the terrifying, which actually helped, we were able to take him out in one go, so. I don't know, was it worth it? Pull it, Kenneth. Say goodbye to your dino. All right, so the Fireforge went, of course. They shot in, uh, actually, sorry, the character went first, did fire, um, whatever, spell, killed my ghouls, who only had one life left, the rest of the Fireforge went, they shot into the Windborn Dijin and brought the far right stand of two life left. All right, my Maharaja went, I just added one to each of these rituals to complete them. And then we did Lifting Winds to give this regiment here, plus two to their move, first move. Over here, his uh, character went and it did, what is that, Tempered Plate? Yeah. Uh, and then activated the uh, stand that the regiment is attached to right away. They moved up five inches and just took a regular shot. We only took one wound. Let's go. Sorcerer went. We just did the safe ritual here. 
and then we just did a random uh, spell successfully to heal two on the archers. Old warriors went up, uh, double march with a pivot. All right, over here, the uh, Maharaja went, he just threw his scimitar over there for three automatic hits, armor pin two, and then he did the conflagration ritual, adding one to the existing safe ritual, and we gave this unit he's a part of the um, parry and the counterattack spell, which is Wind Kiss Blaze. Okay, this next move is the uh, Thane Hold Thanes, and they just move 10 inches up with a pivot, one inch pivot, for some reason. All right, my sorcerer, uh, basic troop, the Raj troops move uh, 12 inches up because they had the plus two from the spell I cast earlier. So we are surrounded on all sides by nasty unpainted dwarves. And these have some uh, obstacles. Those will cause uh, four, five, six, one wound per stand that touches it, right? Mm -hmm. Tenth turn, character went, did nothing. Over here, the Raj troops double move, blocked by these wind genies. Getting ready to hop over them on the next turn. On my turn, these guys just uh, moved up and shimmied two and a half inches to the left. What are you measuring? You don't have to worry about that. All right. Well, this is why I like this game because it's alternating activations. Uh, Kenneth is just going off about random stuff no one's listening to. <laughs> All right, over here, uh, he moved up and charged. He moved up okay. five inches and charged me, and that's it. I don't know why I calculated this as he could not charge me, but. Right over here, my e freeze came in from here. I'm getting ready to charge him if he charges in for this last objective. Over here, my other e freeze came in uh, and ready to charge this flank. So let's go. All right, here we go. This is the game winning roll. This is turn five or four? Turn five. Turn five. Let's go. No! Let's go. Kenneth activated the wrong unit. So he charged my Rakasha Bakasura. And they took a ladder to climb up and try to uh, poke him in the eye. He did four damage total with the resolve. I actually passed all my resolve checks and we have five life left. He did have to go through one of the spike barriers and he is, uh, he does have two stands in water for a minus one clash. So that probably my activation, I did my sorcerer to give minus one saves to this unit and also co complete one ritual, add another point to conflagration. And then we activated the um, Raka troops, Raj troops, and we just charged and combated. We charged in successfully. We did, uh, how many did we do? Five damage or five hits? Mm -hmm. And then you had five auto pass. Auto elemental potency. Yeah. So he auto passed his saves. Like, All right, Kenneth activated his character, then did the Fire Forge, and they just completely wiped out and that sorcerer unit. So was that smart? Or were they uh, destined to die? No matter. My activation, I did my, uh, what is it? Incite Rage to give the um, anyone shock who targeted the unit right here they used to be bigger <laughs> and i activated right away my sword dancers which got three activations because i did a ritual right before and they still survived so there's two stands left for the character this guy has one damage on him right all right so over here on the left flank hold ballista went the tempered the character went uh gave him armored plate or whatever and then they shot only did one whole damage oh shit uh those guys are broken yeah, get broken on that. Uh, over here, my character went Mahara... Oh, sorry. Not my Maharaja. I actually activated my Conflagration, which gave me a free spell cast. The Maharaja gave them free rerolls to volley, and because I targeted them, I, I healed two. So they're, this guy's back at four life. Over here, these uh, this pathetic little morsel units trying to survive. They did a whole uh, four damage to my rock... my Raj troops here. So we're gonna smack back and say bye. Right, activation, my sword dancers are just gonna do nothing. Cause I thought he would have activated this giant ugly piece of unpainted plastic. Bike. What's your speed on them? Just 10. <laughs> They're six inches. Boring move over here. The old warriors just move forward and just bleh. Two on the point. Did these windborn genies. We aim shot. They have full rerolls from my Maharaja conflagration ritual. And we just killed one stand only with one damage. Inside. These little cowardly dragon slayers are using these whole things as a shield to kill my monster. But you were better. All right, over here, my big block here. We uh, did the Maharaja, or sorry, not Maharaja, the Raj. He did a spell. I target. Oh, there goes a tree. We, ah! <laughs> we targeted the Bakasura, which uh, gave him cleave one and deadly blades because it's I'm targeting a fire guy. He heals two. 
and then I activated the block right away and we just inspired and attacked and at the end of all of it we killed all except for one stand which is wounded and has three wounds left. All right, we're recording this because it's gonna be hilarious. So this guy was actually back here. He pivoted like what five inches? Five inches. Move and up then two. he's gonna move up two. He has seven inch movement. He needs a four or more with unstoppable to yeah. charge my left flank. So we're gonna we're gonna check this live. Two didn't make it. Oh, let's go. Thirty three percent chance of fail. Six. No. Yes. Oh. I'm in. So Dude, just with the impact hits, he I did four damage. Game, Don't jinx it. And he <laughs> killed the one stand that was wounded with four life. Uh, as Kenneth cries over here, I'm just gonna go over my last three activations. I did my Maharaja, I did a conflagration uh, ritual for two. Um, and then I firebolted for five damage on this big, ugly, unpainted guy. My These guys are blocked. I can't move forward through these engaged unit or shimmy over. So I just move back to give space for, I have no idea. I just move back. So these guys cannot shoot me. Um, over here, I ins I inspired and attacked. This guy was buffed with deadly blades and in uh, cleave one, and we just took out one tray and put four damage on this right one. Mm -hmm. And then that is the it for the turn. Right, I forgot about the uh, to roll for resolve, so we actually wiped them because of uh, terrifying one. But now I'm opening myself to the dragon slayers. So now I'm just okay. <laughs> there's some backstory. This is what is you this roll? Is this a six? This is turn six. Yeah, okay, I get the plus one because uh, Kenneth went first last time. This is a game winning roll. Whoever goes first holds the power of the infinity stones. Okay. Roll. That's true. Oh shit. But Four, which is a three. One. Let's go, let's yeah. go. Tie it up. Oh yeah. All right, over here, first activation the Rakasura Bakara. Uh, he charged and attacked, killed one whole stand. That's it. All right, over here, he inspired and attacked. I have one life left. Let's All go. Right, first misplay that will matter. I did safe. I want to activate my next card, which is this and I can't because it has to be an air and I need to learn to read. So I'm gonna lose. What are you gonna do next? That's my Dragon Slayer, but I kinda already went and killed him. Oh, so. all right, so over it's, here, uh, it's the it's Dragon Slayers killed him. <laughs> exactly at seven wounds, he exploded and dealt, how much total, three or four, five wounds? On death, whatever. Four. He's gonna take that guy out with four. him. Four. Uh, as he, as he drifts off to heaven, he says, fuck you. All right, did my uh, charged, I had a free action, so it didn't help me. I just charged in, um, did combat with the impact hits, and we have 10 wounds, or 11 wounds total now. Or wait, I can't read. 12, 12 wounds total on the- All right, Fireforge went, they moved up, and they shot into my Warlord unit, killed a tray, wounded here, two life left on the right, last. So these uh, Fire Dancer Sword Boys went, they had opportunists, so they got full rerolls to hit on the side flank. We wiped out this last unit, and he's gonna fight on death, and then we're gonna move on to okay. the air. Uh, the character just casted the stupid plate spell I hate, and they double moved up to get on the point, and joined this little monster mash going on in the center. Okay, this here's another failure. I did conflagration. I did a free lightning bolt into the stupid unpainted pile of plastic, and he made all his saves. His unit, the whole thing, well, whole warriors just, or Thane warriors just double moved up and they're blocked by these stupid. All right, over here, the Maharaja went. I threw my blade at these guys. They made their save. Uh, no point casting any spells because nothing will help. Um, so I just double moved onto the point. We moved 11 inches. Didn't even need really to move the pole because I just want to get on the point. Actually, I might shimmy them back a little bit. I just want to toe in on the All point. right, over here, my warlord went. I fire bolted this guy. This he, is has one, he has one life left. I'm sad. I just then I just reformed and ran away with the troops, and which were right, the last guy activation. I s had to inspire attack. I was in water, so I'm minus one to clash, and we were able to get one single damage in to kill the last Drake. That was a good. Uh, but now here come the revenge of the untamed. Right, Let's one. fucking I go. One. one. Can you get better than that? Yeah. Nope. Let's go. I think I won this All right, time. so these uh, guys went up. I did Incite Rage to give them the, uh, what do you call it, shock bonus, which actually did, I didn't even calculate that into my charge. And then I charged in, did impact hits. We wiped them. He's rolling for uh, combat on death. And then we're, our second action, we're probably just going to pivot to turn 45 degrees or as much as we can legally. And that's it. Over here, they charged me. I did one damage and made all my other saves and the one result. Right. My activation over here, the Maharaja went. I gave this plus two movement to heal two life. Good to go back to Wait, three. What's his defense? And then I reformed and moved. That's all right, the Fireforge went uh, between the character flame casting, killed my last Windborn Dijin. The rest of the Fireforge and him shooting 
killed two stands exactly of the uh, Ifrit, so. All right, Kenneth's activation, he's reforming his Dragon Slayers and running away. Go ahead, I want everyone to see your cowardly moves. All right, so my Ifrit's went, my last activation, they just double moved 12 inches, trying to chase these Dragon Slayers. I'm kind of sad, I wanted to kill them. All right, let's go. Okay, that's, I, oh, oh yeah. but you six, went. Six, my activation, my Maharaja went, I targeted them with plus two movement or whatever, just to heal two. And then they got the fuck out. They double moved and ran all the way here. We're trying to get to the promised land. All right, over here on the right side of the uh, flank, Dragon Slayers went. They retreated a little bit and reformed to face me. Over here, these Ifrits just double moved up. Uh, no rush. We'll eventually get them in the last right, Over here, they uh, killed my Ifrit. And then the wield over here, my dumbass, should have activated this unit, not that unit. So I'm going to go now and we're going to activate... Our uh, Raj. Okay, my Raj went. Uh, oh, sorry. Actually, my Raj troops went first. We just moved up 11 inches. And then I activated my Raj, who just threw his sword at these uh, Dragon Slayers and did one damage to kill one of the trays. There's one tray left. So this is the Eastern Front. The left flank is pretty much done. He has control of that. Yeah. And both objectives are open for the taking. So you get the plus one. Yeah. So scoring would be plus one or minus one, and I will go first. Okay. They move one neutral. Okay. So over here, um, my first activation for turn six, round six, I just did my Maharaja. We did a conflagration ritual plus two because he's my warlord. That's his ability. Um, we did plus two movement. We move. We activated the regiment next. We moved. Uh, we actually reformed, then moved seven because I'm trying to get on this point. My next turn. Kenneth's first action on round eight, he tried charging me and failed, rolling a one. All right, over here, these guys just shot here, did one damage, two life left on the objective. Over here, the Raj just threw his scimitar at that unit. They, the actual unit chilled so I could score on the point. Over here, we charged. Uh, we did Insight Rage. We charged, killed that unit, and then they just reformed and ready to charge the objective. All right, going so going into round nine, we just tossed it over. Um, over here, I'm going to charge, deal impact hits, attack it, it'll deal two damage. He'll attack this one, deal one damage, it'll go to one life. So we'll both have one life left on each objective. But over here, my Maharaja will move onto the point, giving him plus two movement. So he'll have 11 plus two, 13 inch movement. He'll get on the point, he scores an extra point as his uh, roll. So over the next two turns, I'll actually be up by two points. And then um, next turn on round 10, that'll be destroyed. Kenneth will destroy this objective for sure with all the shooting. And then I'll be up by two points because of the Maharaja sitting on a point. So that no, is No, you it. get one extra point, right? Yeah. So it'd be two plus one. You, go, you, you beat me by one point. Oh, but I mean, don't we still, don't we still score next turn? Yeah, but I'm still... scoring at the same time you're scoring. So it'll be like two points, two points. I know. And then, no, it'll be three points. Two points this turn, and then three points. Oh, that's two right. Two points right. because there's this, two rounds yeah, left. Yeah, this turn you're going to move over there. Only because of all the movement shenanigans. Only because that rule that gives you one extra point. <laughs> so what, <laughs> what did you think about this army? It was a good army. I actually like the army. I like all the synergy because uh, that's the kind of armies that. Does I it play. make you miss the old Wadrin rules? It does actually, because my guys are so slow. Five inch movement. Do you think I have no cavalry? Uh, real question though for everyone: Does benching help you make better rolls? Does what makes me bench pressing? Oh, I'm working out. Everything. You know it might. <laughs> All right, so hopefully uh, we can get these painted and get another game in, and I'll have my elephant painted by then. Yeah. Let's go. Good game, man. Yeah, I actually like this uh, train a lot. Very cool. So we'll get on this table again in the future.